Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, we are checking out a plugin from Xplane 11 from the guys at Stick and Rudder Studios, which is X Camera. Now, X Camera has been around for a while, it's nothing new, but if you are like me and um, are now using Xplane as well as P3D, or you've migrated over from P3D to Xplane, I'm getting a lot of questions um, in my comments on what do you use and how you set up uh, your camera settings for X-Plane. So if you've never heard of X-Camera before, X-Camera is a plugin that enables you to set up different categories and different camera views and customize them to your heart's content um, with all different sorts of things. So I will leave a link uh, to X-Camera uh, for you guys to can check it out. And there is a free version and also there is a paid version and I'll be using the registered paid version um, in the videos of this tutorial series. So today's video will be number one of three or four possibly videos in the series. Uh, we're going to go through how I set up my in cockpit views and also my outside views and then we're going to check out the community content um, that's available for different views within X camera. So within saying all that let's jump into the cockpit and we'll start setting up the C90 from Carinado and um, get it customized to how we like it. In order to get a new aircraft working with X camera, you need to go into the plugins option to X camera and hit enable um, to get it to work. Normally you would see a confirmation screen in front of you to hit OK, but because I've already enabled the C90, I won't need to do that. First option, I'll go into bringing the control menu up and it's a little bit hard to see for the video. So we're going to go to plugins, X camera again into settings and change it. Uh, so it is basically a white background. Now I'm going to close that off and open it up again but as you can see I had it on a transparent mode uh, before which I normally use but for the video we will use the white background for you guys to see. Um, you can uh, move this around so I'll move it around into the top corner. The control panel is the heart of X camera. This is where you can name all your different categories and your camera views and customize your camera view. So this is where we'll be doing the bulk of the work today. Now you'll always start off with a category called cockpit and also your first camera view called a pilot view. Now I'm just adjusting the mouse and changing my camera angles around. You notice it keeps going back to the center view. So I just need to enable an option called uh, mouse uh, position lock or something to that extent and it will leave the camera where I last leave my mouse position and I use this to navigate around X camera and also to navigate my views so I'll just hit restore to go back to the main option and the first thing I'm going to do to set up my pilot view camera is I'm going to change my field of view so I'll just enable field of view and I'll move it back uh, just a little bit so it's more accurate to a, um, a real pilot's uh, view and then I'm going to hit save and now that's our first view set up now it's time for our second view so I'm going to hit add, add camera to, to category um, new cockpit. camera and you can hear X camera talking there the second view is going to be called a pilot look down now I use these for all every single aircraft I fly uh, we're going to use the mouse to position where I want to look at in the aircraft and this is so I can see pretty much the whole dash and the throttle quadrants as well and we are going to hit save. And that is the next camera view done as, as you can see I can go in between the two and I also have this binded uh, to my SciTech yoke as well I can do the same thing. So now we're going to quickly just add our next couple of uh, views and I'll walk Added through camera it quickly. Three to so we'll add to cockpit. the camera. So this makes camera number three. We're going to call this one Co-Pilot. And to get over to the other side of the cockpit, uh, we'll hit save. Always hit save. Um, we just use the right arrow key 
um, and that'll bring us over to where we would think the co-pilot would sit. Again, I could just the field of view here to say to have the uh, second co-pilot to have a different field of view. Um, as you can see now, I'm flipping between all the different camera views, but I'm going to keep the same field of view for this one. Added camera for so the category we'll cockpit. Going to camera number four. So we've added the camera, and this one we are calling a dash cam. Always got to have a dash cam. So I'm using my up arrow key and, um, sorry, my forward arrow key to move forward, and also using page up to go up. We hit save and then we've got all four camera views. So now it's time to use some of the features within X camera to clean up the camera views a little bit. So our next step is to rotate through all the camera views we just set up and enable smooth transition to make them clean. So I've just enabled the first one, um, do it on the second one, the third one and the fourth one and you can just hit save once you've done all four. We hit save now and when we rotate through, they have a smooth transition. Just like that. Another cool option um, for pilot view, I use another plugin called X-Plane uh, Realistic. Um, I'm able to click that on and off, such as things as track IR as well, um, in different uh, views as well. So in the pilot and the co-pilot view, I'm gonna enable that um, so I can get different things like head shake and also the pilot breathing, which is a really nice touch by uh, X camera, including that as well. Now it's time to do the same thing with external views. Added camera one to category, category two. So as you can see, we've started a new category. We're gonna call this external. So we'll type that in and hit save. And the first thing we need to do is hit the external uh, camera option to enable the cameras to go into external view. So we'll do that. And that usually just pops you just outside the aircraft and it will always look a little bit funny. We're gonna turn uh, XP realistic off at this stage and smooth transitions off at this stage. And the first thing we need to do is go and set up our first camera view. So you can again control your camera setup by using your mouse to get the right angle and your arrow keys to navigate around. So I always do a top left, a top right, a back right and a back left uh, for all my different outside views. So there is my first one and I'm gonna nickname this one front, if I can actually spell correctly, front left. And we'll hit save, and that's the first one set up. And we'll add our second camera. Added camera two to category external. And all is we need to do is navigate around. So I'm going to navigate around to the other side. And I pretty much just eyeball these um, to get the camera angles I want. And then I'll flip through the different camera angles. Um, to double check they're okay and then I'll line them up a little bit better. But we're gonna call this one the uh, front right. Save that in there and as you can see, they got the different views. And I'm just gonna adjust this one and hit save. And then I've got my two front views. Just adjust it one little bit more. There we go. As easy as that, you can play around it until you get it perfect added for your liking. Added camera three to category external. We added our third camera, which we are gonna call this uh, back right. We'll get it in the right position. This back. Right, and hit save, and add our last camera position. Added camera four to category external. I think I've gone a bit too far, certainly have, so we'll just squeeze a little bit. We'll go back, and we're gonna call this one back left and 
and then we will hit save. And now to follow the same process as what we did as in the cockpit, we're going to enable smooth transitions for all the views. So I'll just cycle through the views and enable smooth transition. And there we go. So when we cycle through our views, we've got a smooth transition as we quickly go to the next one and the next one. So we'll hit save on that. And now all our very basic camera views are set up. We can change our categories and go through all our different camera views from cockpit to external. And that's a very basic setup of in cockpit views and external views and the basics of X camera. Now, if you didn't want to do all that hard work, you can jump into the community option and search your aircraft that you've got, and you can use someone else's views that are already set up. So we can actually preview the views, and then, which we have done here, and I can cycle through them. And as you can see in this one, there's like 26 camera views for the inside of the cockpit. Um, and you can just basically add which ones you want or leave which ones in there and delete the ones that you don't want But this one's got a view for absolutely everything. So it is an easy way to set up as well So that was the very basics of how to set up external views and cockpit views and basically get started with a X camera We will have another second video of this tutorial series out very soon and in that one we're going to be looking at how to set up cinematic shots for your aircraft flybys and orbiting shots just like this so on that note thank you very much for watching the video today i'm hoping you got something out of it um, if you're new to the Ozflight Simmer channel, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. And if you liked the video today, please hit that thumbs up. It's much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stick around for another video. Uh, good ones just on the screen now. And have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.